Hello again, now it's time for Transformers Prime Theme, theme Beast Hunters in this episode, episode 7 review plus 1. We open our secret bunker with Rare Pips for Ground Bridge request from Scotland. We don't drag bridges in, still not happy with Ultra Magnus' decision from the last episode. Agent Valhalla picks up Decepticon activity outside Taos, New Mexico. Looks like Blue Beetle's shaking things up again. There's the obvious for Wheeljack to go with her, but he refuses. Ursi and Archie promptly call him on this. Grudgingly, Wheeljack decides to go with Ursi. Which is his bridge into a legend of vehicles. So, Wheeljack and Vault are seen there and two go to work. But off the bat, the action scene is well coordinated and animated beautifully. June comes from the bunker, Jack is playing Gallagher. Thought we wouldn't notice. Turns out Greg Wiseman was there. Yes, the Greg Wiseman. Greg Wiseman, spectacular Spider Man, young Justice Greg Wiseman. The serious thing is you put him in charge of the new Transformers show that has a plan for the 30th anniversary of the franchise next year. Anyway, June talks to Fowler, a William as he prefers to be called about the medical supplies she needs. My friends know he's in pretty compulsively museum, but they're just down just ratchet. June fell out a girl. Jack isn't serious about this, but they pause so they can handle themselves. Meanwhile, Megatron congratulates predicting the team of the false and knock out for another being fault. Megatron says knock out and tells him not to return empty handed. Search him down some knock out remains in the apex are stepped away from him. Too fair, Megatron always searching to find particular energy signatures. Megatron says shockwave and some including more super soldiers as from the fossils. A set of beast machines. I like that show and we'll get to it. Scrooge and Trace turned to Freddie King by the extras. That is going to something where Freddie King's chew toy. Big wave look at Ursi. Ursi's wondering like, why we all take such a loner? Huh? Why do you stay with Team Prime when he could have just kept driving? Fowler and June had the fossil and are hitting it off. Michael Bay gives us supermodels instead of actresses. Yes, Greg Wiseman gives us an interracial relationship with a merchandise driven show. Suddenly, Knockout appears and owns his weapons at June and Fowler. The only stun of Knockout destroys their phones and locks them in his trunk. Knockout contacts Megatron, seeing the false, and he has a false to them, so he's human to his body and chips, guinea pigs, whatever else he may like. He's seen all the videos he's made of Carver Night Raider. Not the one from 2008, that one sucked. Turns out the Predacon had knocked out the Predacon's Decepticon's communications. So if he's not happy with this, then why is he happy with the more Predacons? Jack is wondering what's keeping June and Fowler. And then his phone rings, but Miko's calling. She says she, he ultimates and walks on the way back, and she has the apex on his surprise. Miko and an expert wheel Jack. Jack tells her he's with RC another mission. June and Fowler scum the trunk. This is pretty intense, almost like something of a horror movie. Knockout's not happy with how June and Fowler are arguing, saying that human courtship disgusts him. Knockout then tries to contact Megatron again, still no answer. But it tells you if they reach Megatron's ship, they won't make it out, much less with the fossil. Well, Fowler says Knockout to all those weapons, and they ask June if she has any. June presents a can of maze. Well, the ice and the machines are pretty sensitive. They've been burnt with an acetylene torch, shot, gouged out with a grappling hook, and had a grenade rammed in them. And back with Wheeljack and Ursi, Wheeljack is not happy with Ultra Magnus Leader, how both has changed. Mercy says he can't change the past, only the future, and not to give up on Morphhead. The first joke in the country ring went fell off the street and turned into a train yard. June grabs Fossil and tries to make a bag for it. Fowler tries to run, but Knockout tries to run and grabs him. Fowler makes this knockout and it works. Well, I tell you, these robots have very fragile eyes. Half blind, Knockout tries to find Fowler in between all the freight trains. June and Fowler hide amongst all the boxcars. I must say it's actually pretty suspenseful. Mega finds Fowler and threatens to kill him for June's and return Fossil. Richard goes to look at the source and found it. Jack contacts Ursa, saying that had June and Fowler in danger. Her. June has heard the fossil and the train had it outbound. Michael Bay takes his hostages and pursues the train. Much of that Stephen Bick came back and moved to Christine. It turns out police are communicating some doubts at all. Sunway gets him back in line just to have Michael say he has a fossil and says ahead of the other behind. We get a car chase as some Insecticon sent to help, but we order kills two and keeps driving. OC picks up another Insecticon by the last one for drop. She calls it and gets away a with a fossil and the hell dragon. She wounds a safe June and Fowler. Which I can walk make up. Knock up into Foster Megatron, starts getting such pretty keen the communications. As he gets kid to Megatron, pretty keen figures out how to work the database and post out information on his brethren. So now he's become self aware. So, this was a great episode to follow up on the last one. Apart from the action scenes, I enjoyed doing it finally getting the episodes for themselves. I also enjoyed Hey Greg Wise and Scoop this episode, which has some of the best rating in the entire series. I'm serious, but he's a great friend to the Transformers show, speaking for the day of anniversary of the franchise next year. It's so how about Young Justice, Spectacular, the Spider Man, Guy Ghost, and now. So my final rating is three and a half to the four. So work more to someone with 52 special for an episode. See you, Space Cowboy.